Let's explore Valencia Bukidnon. Located in the heart of Mindanao is the city of Valencia in the province of Bukidnon. Valencia City is warm, lovely, and always welcoming city. And it is home to almost 200,000 people distributed about 40,000 households spreading over a land area of approximately 100,000 hectares. And it is the third largest city in northern Mindanao. The city of Valencia in Bukidnon nested among the hills of Bukidnon at the valley in the shadow of both Mount Kalatungan and Mount Kitanglan mountain ranges. So tara, manglaag ta sa the city of Valencia here in the province of Bukidnon. Accessories for admiration, bamboos bumping, barefoot bounding, kinetic Cali combat, boom boom powered, digitally documenting, diving in the deep, beating everywhere, even on the street, galleries, graffiti, and counts for the gram, hand weaving heritage with hometown hands, island fortresses, illuminated lands, lakeside living with locals and lilies, mountain rides made with the Ifugao markings, nocturnal nightlife, neon navigating, umid in the that means keep on smoking. Tories officers, old world magic Bullets and prints from pineapple fabric Run down your rhythms, riffing on rap Sunset street dancing, Sampaguita crap Tried with tattoos in traditional ways Ultimate underground, untouched caves Wild, wide, warm, welcome to wait For you, and yes you too Be part of the tradition The celebration and the culture Be part of the fun
The Philippines has more flavors than it has islands, and that's saying a lot when there's over 7,000. All Filipino food is a fusion of flavors. Take adobo, for example. So many different flavors involved to make that taste of comfort. Because the only thing Pinoys love more than eating is making other people eat. And I'm sure whatever we're putting in it, we're putting it all in one bite and making you eat it. The amazing thing about adobo is there's no one recipe. You cook with your heart and eat with your mouth. There's so many ways to wipe out in the Philippines, from surf to table. Sometimes we just invent reasons to eat. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, merienda. <laughs> pancit palabok for merienda. <laughs> Who's merienda? As with any pancit dish, the noodles are for long life. Long life, but not long hair. <laughs> Our food comes from an incredibly rich culinary history. It may not look it, but there's complex flavors at work here. Sweet, salty, savory, rich, delicate. Fish in my chocolate? Why not? <laughs> we love mixing it up. 15 flavors for the price of one. One of the country's greatest chefs is a giant dancing bee. Jolly bee! And he's serving up something good. For Pinoy's, half the fun is in savoring the smell of your food. But all the fun is in eating it. <laughs> oh, so you're one of those people that like pineapple on everything? No, but with a burger, it's definitely okay. Huh, says who? Hmm. By far though, nothing is more Pinoy than chicken that's made with joy. We call it Chicken Joy. It's crispy-licious, juicy-licious, and we love dipping it in gravy. I know this sounds crazy, but we also love sweet spaghetti with red hot dog. Everyone's always invited to the party. There's Koya Junjun, Tita Letlet, Tito Boy Boy, and Lola Girlie. No utensils? No problem! Over here we eat with our hands. So come on over and join, because eat's more fun when you're part of it. Hey you! Sorry you couldn't make it to the Philippines, but it's okay. We haven't been up to much. There's just no escaping the heat. All we do is take showers. We're always on the move, yet we keep getting lost. We can't wait for the day to end, so we can just stay in at night. <laughs> I'm kidding! We're having a blast. We haven't stopped eating and partying all day. Plus, we've made a bunch of friends. The only thing that would make it better is if you were here too. Tokyo! Oh non, Allons lui en chercher un. Ah, je pense qu'il va l'aimer. Fish are eating, so should you, Anak. Mm. 
Thank you. You're welcome, Anak. What does Anak mean? It means my child. Sa pag-unlad ng turismo, umangat ang Pilipino. Mga may bahay, nagkahanap buhay. Paghugas ng pinggan, naging gabay sa karagatan. Isang engineer na paunlad ang sining ng buong barangay. At ang simpleng magsasagwan, malaki ang tulong sa kalikasan. Silang walang tinig, boses na ng kasaysayan. At ang specialty ni nanay, ngayon'y tinitilahan. Best friend ng lahat, naging tour guide na. At ang daan taong apo, naibida ang kulturang Pilipino. Lunti ang ilog, naging entablado. At katutubong sayaw, Hi everyone, uh, please subscribe to Architect Studio by uh, architect Gerald Patrick Haraya. Congrats, Gerald.